So somebody asked me to do a run with my new unit. Um, like a showcasing kind of thing. So give me a moment here. Uh, like I said, I won't be able to showcase most of these guys because I don't think they're worthwhile. Like, uh, Sword Princess Leon. And Favil, I won't be able to get up ready until in time. So just for now, until then, I'm going to just be showcasing my showcasing her for now. So give me a moment so I can set up a good team to around her. Let's see, we could go with my favorite unit here. My second to favorite unit. Who was it? Or is he Fen? I always like Fen. He's always such a good unit in my book. And maybe I would go with her today again. Go with her for... It's been a long time since I used her. Mm. You know what? Actually, I'm, I'm going to actually go with her today. Why? Because I'm actually going to... Oh, wow. That's, that's sad, guys. I haven't even finished my... um. <laughs> wow. I haven't even finished her. Sorry. Well, that's a little bit saddening. So, uh, so far, I hear that she's pretty good, a pretty good unit. Well, correction, I, what am I saying? What am I saying? I very much know well she's a good unit. She's like one of the... She's like... She's very bossy when it comes down to it. Alright. Um, no, that equipment wouldn't be a good idea to have on her, but I'll keep it on her anyways. Uh, increases light damage, not useful for her. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. This is a bit anticlimactic. Um. I won't be spending my whole time doing a video upon just what to put gears on her. Alright. Let's see if I have something I can use to get her to level 70. I'm hoping I do. Correction. Let's see. I will be upgrading her eventually as well. So that I can actually get her to maxed. Let's see. No, sadly. Alright, give me a split second. I'm going to have to run this. Because I think I do have a chance to actually get her. Uh, let's see. Oh no, it's already done. All right. So, what's the best way to showcase a unit, huh? I could. I'm gonna give it a guess like this. Do a powerful event and do it with a little pizzazz. Mind you, I'm actually gonna swap that out for something better. Something that actually adds defense towards dark types. Hmm. Go for the top one or go for the bottom ones. So let's. Determine that one by the f defensive stats. I could go ahead and do a 34%, which would always be handy, 35 and 400 negation. Hmm, yeah, this will do. Oh, wait, you know what? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I kind of find, I like about this part because I always want to use this. Cooldown time, Book of Agony is always like one of my big time favorite uh, gears. Alright, so we have Tornado today, which is a big difference from before. Wow, she's just, they're just wrecking it. Wreck a Ralph moments. As I said, um... As I said here, what was it? All right, her name is Daisy, right? Daisy's very good for um, damage, but I, what I do not like about her is the fact that her skill pushes her back. That's like the one thing I don't like about it. As you can see here, she casts her skill, but then she casts it back up to just do it again. She's casting it in the back, though. That's the problem. Well, this is pretty damn interesting. 
Wow, that was pretty nasty. If you guys saw that just now, that was very nasty. Look at that. Just look how much damage that is. Did they just use the equipment all the way back there when it was supposed to be over here? Unbelievable. <laughs> oh man, the auto system really gets me good. I'm just gonna throw that on her because that's gonna be she's make just main damage right now going on here. She gets remember she also increases her own R gauge by seven every time she casts her skill. And here comes Death Do Us Apart. I like to get her out of that ability by using this. Even though she's gonna get caught in the end, end. What? She completely evaded it? What? That was logical. <laughs> well, guys, there you go. Here you have it. Mind you, the fact that she's hitting 3,000 to, from 2,000 to 3,000 per activation, close to hitting around, uh, how to say, around 10,000 to 20,000 damage, which I gotta admit is not easy to obtain most of the time, but, like, what am I saying? Damage just ratios are just pretty much decent. Um, let me actually check something. Let's see if we can find out something about, look, about the chickens. I'm hoping I can get something out of them. The chickens are demons, right? No? Maybe? So, no? Uh, let's see. Hmm. Alright, I don't know I'm going to be spamming my inventory up by doing that. Yeah, yeah, I've been I've been stockpiling guys. I've really been working hard to get these guys. Uh, they're considered demons. Oh, this is perfect for a damage test. All right, so let's go like this. Okay, hold on. This is perfect. All right, so let me go set up a team around her around uh, Luck, so I can do this. I'm gonna do this solo, guys. I'm not gonna include. I'm gonna include a healer, and that's about it. So. We're gonna, he's gonna be seeing this. I'm gonna remove him. This is all about just to show you, showcase, uh. This is all about showcasing Daisy right now, guys. So. I would like to actually showcase more about her. Or correction, more about, like, how to put this. Mmm. More what she does. Oh, my lucky day. All right, let me shut off some of these. Let me put off, take off auto, and do this myself. As you can see, she's doing massive amounts of damage towards the giant chicken. Around 3,000 per hit, and that's because she also has a, re a weakness, remember, she has an increase in damage there for their elemental correction. Just a weakness, and stronger, uh, wow, what am I, what am I getting to it for? <sighs> like I said, her passive increases her damage towards demon types. I failed to actually add Toy Sword, which would have been a lot better to actually try this with. Toy Sword on the at one hand can actually boost her stats by another 50% making it a total of 150. Now, with Mako's buff, let me see how much she can do with Mako's attack buff. It's the same same amount, but what if we activate her art? <laughs> I always do love him for that, just critical. But 
whole point of this video. As you just saw, when the enemy got broken, as you just saw, the enemy got broken, her art gauge maxed out. That's part of her passives. Or, correction, that's part of her skill set. That comes in hand, great handy, especially in situations like this. So, with that being said, this is how you... This is how you manipulate a battlefield, just by you taking advantage of every art, every part of the character's, uh, style. Well, like I said, Daisy is one of the next future units we will be obtaining in later batches. She is not supposed to be out right now, guys, so I would advise getting the bundle. Well, that's if you're pay to win. I wouldn't suggest getting it if you're free to play. Like, that's 30 bucks down the drain, in your in your guys' opinion, but I, I'm still I'm st a spender over here, so don't worry about it. But the point of this video is just to get you guys to notice how powerful she is in battle. Holy moly. Did she just nuke him to death with critical? Okay, that was beautiful. I was a that was a perfect moment for a video, guys. I I can't say any more to that. I can't say any more to that one. <laughs> I just showcased her in the most powerful and greatest way. Mind you, those chickens aren't easy to kill, especially with their defensive stats. But that was lovely, so lovely, just in, just yeah, lovely. With that being said, we being done, I will finally be able to max out my tornado. Yay, maxed out tornado, even though I should have done this a long time ago. Sheesh. I'm too I'm too lazy. <laughs> well guys, that's about it. That's me showcasing Daisy. I like I said, I do love her. She's just a very handy unit. The damage she can bring out is nice and everything. Um, the weapon that, oh, by the way, we do also get weapons from the bundle. These weapons aren't very much different from what we currently have. Give me a split moment. I can show you it right now. This is what I like about the spear. This is her unique weapon, mind you guys. So 60% water damage, increase on break power by 20% and arc gauge for two, by two for seven seconds. Mind you, that is still, like I said, it's handy. It's very handy. And it has 3,000 break. That's very good. Mind you, this, that, as you saw there, that activation of the weapon is actually, will be her future true evolution kind of art style. You will see it yourselves. I will try to post it on um, later on while I go to Japan. Because I have her on Japan. I have her already. Uh, true, uh, true Vault. I think I did show you guys. If you look at one of my videos, you'll find her along the way. Um, with that being said, I have her, did have her max too, so sh her damage was off the charts. So, that's why her damage was pretty good out there. She is, has to put this, she's actually, I think she's mostly defensive type. No, because her defense was higher than her attack, but it got plummeted because of was it because of the gear that caused it to go to plummet? I'll uh, determine that right now. Let's see. We we'll get through that. Take that from Satsuki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I thought. Yeah, she has more defense than attack, so she's mostly defensive, guys. So that's very handy. Not many defensive. Well, we have a lot of defensive units, but she's mostly defensive and break towards break. I will try to do a video on, um, Leon, or Leon, sorry, Leona, Leon, I cannot, is that even, that is Chinese, I am sorry, I cannot pronounce, I am, I suck at pronunciations, <laughs> oh man, is that even a Japanese name, uh, I don't even think that's, how do you even pronounce it? Leon? Lan? Lan? 
I'm gonna do a whole video just trying to just, just trying to say her name. <laughs> I'm mad racist there too. Oh jeez. I'm sorry guys. That's a, that was really offensive earlier. Um. Well, I'm rude. I am very rude at this point. I'm trying to just 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 trying to get her name down. Um. Post. Uh, tell me if you guys want me to max limit break her. Or to max limit break another unit, because I have a few other units I want to be working on in the future as well. Because I already max limit broke most of these units, except for her. I am not max limit breaking her. I, uh, some people say she's good, some people she say she's not. I personally don't like her because her animations art takes forever. I played Japan and her art took forever. To get back up after activation, I had so many difficulties, I got annoyed with her and never bothered to use her ever again. Mind you, as I said before, I did make this uh, clear about when we first introduced the uh, tornado. I am not 100% certain how Art Gauge works when it comes to fill rate. So let's give it let's give it a little bit of a how to say. You know what? I'll do that in a late a video after this one, guys. I really want to test that information. I really want to see what's gonna happen. So good like that there, guys. Have fun and enjoy the game. See you next time.